What's up, guys? <laughs> it's Cove, back again with another video. This time, some more news. Last video was about the confrontation uh, campaign coming up for clans, clan wars. First time for a chieftain in two years. At least on the North American server. I don't know about the other servers. Um, this time, American Yo Tanks. Yo, we're incoming. Um, so, what are they? If you haven't seen them, how are you going to be able to get them? And um, when? When are they coming in? Well, when's pretty easy to answer. It should be sometime after the cam, the Clan Wars campaign. Um, how did? What do they look like? Well, they're starting to tier six. They're coming from the T1 heavy tank, which makes perfect sense to me if you're starting a tier six and you're having a heavy tank line. Now, these do look like faster heavies, for the most part. Um. The tier 6 only has 5 degrees of gun depression, which is interesting, because I'm pretty sure the, the 10 has a massive amount of gun depression. So the line's going to change as you go along, which is weird. Hopefully, it doesn't change the cruise loadouts for each tank. But let's just, I don't know, see how they look as per tier. Um, the tier 6 looks decent. It looks really inaccurate. Uh, it does not have the reserve tracks. I believe those start on the 8. Potentially. Um, the 6 just looks like a different version of the M6, honestly. Maybe a mix between an M6 and a um, P43. This, yeah, the tier six Italian medium. That's what the armor profile uh, stands out to me as. Also, the uh, tier seven Caro kind of has a similar armor profile, from at least what I can see from the screenshots. Uh, then you get tier seven the M2Y, which is the first one where you see the the American heavy style hull. Um, are we going to have a new king of tier 7 that's finally going to dethrone the uh, T29? No. No, no, no. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a bad tank by any means. It just doesn't look like it's going to be game-breaking, which is really good so far. Uh, tier 8 is the first one that actually looks like it has a decent turret. <laughs> to me, anyway. Um, 10 degrees of gun depression. Doesn't look like it has massive weak points on the um, top of the turret. Um, the bottom of the turret does concern me a little bit, but it does apparently have 280 millimeters of armor. So, fairly quick tank, honestly. 40 kilometers an hour forward and 15 horsepower per ton. Uh, just gonna have to check and see about the terrain resistances, and if I'm not mistaken, let me look, yeah, I'm pretty sure, it looks like you get the, the reserve track starting at tier 7, which is interesting, but this, the M3Y, actually looks better to me than the M4Y, the premium, which is a great thing in my opinion, so, moving on to tier 9, you get the M6Y, why is this a tier 9 instead of the tier 10? Uh, well, the turret looks like it has massive weak points on the side. Like, huge weak points on the side and top. Uh, the turret, other than the weak points, looks really, really strong. Uh, it's faster than the tier 8. It has better gun handling. Uh, it's quicker than the tier 8, sorry, I should say. Uh, better alpha. 400 alpha with... 243 pin is not it's not a good pin on a tier 9 heavy tank by any means but it's not terrible it's about the same as in a mil 2 I'd say um, it's pretty close to a mil 2 uh, with the gun 
handling and uh, pin and, and average damage. It's not going to be like a Conqueror gun where you have pretty much ridiculous pin on all of your shells for a heavy. I might add. Um, 10 degrees of gun depression. You've had that since tier 7. It doesn't go down whatsoever. Uh, the tier 10, the M. Five Y. This turret looks ridiculous. Don't know how it's gonna, how the armor profile is gonna work on it, but it does look quite meaty. All right. So it's faster than all the other tanks in the line. Has better armor than all the other tanks in the line. Has better armor than the T125. Looks like by a long shot. Now, granted, it doesn't have quite the hull armor of the T125, but has much better turret and it's faster and it has a better gun slightly less accurate gun but it does look like it's a better gun it also has 10 degrees of gun depression instead of eight like you would get on the either of the other two american heavy tanks so i mean i'm glad that they are waiting an entire clan war season to release or for everybody to get this tank for clan wars it kind of looks like it's going to be a free-to-play chieftain um counter to be entirely honest it has very similar stats to the chieftain it looks like it has a very similar kind of turret with uh, minimal weak points and just a ridiculous amount of armor now, I don't know for a fact if this is going to work out the way I think it is, but it just seems like that's what they're going for here, is a free-to-play Chieftain knockoff. It even has the same hit points as a Chieftain. Like, I mean, it looks a lot like a Chieftain, on paper anyway. So, it's going to come from the T110, or not the T110, the, well, the, the line going to the T125, but it comes off the T1 Heavy. Uh, you're going to need to save up on your T1 Heavy 28,550 if you want the Paw Walk Day 1. So, there's that. Some more pictures of the tanks. Uh, tier 6 just looks like it's going to be a Tier 6. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look bad. It just kind of looks stupid like most tier 6s do. Um, yes, the M2Y, the tier 7, is the first one where you're going to get the um, reserve tracks, which is cool. I wasn't really impressed by the, the M4Y's reserve track mechanic. I didn't really get to use it often. Um, it's just you have to bait somebody into shooting your tracks. In order to use it properly. Now the M3Y actually to me looks like it has a much better armor profile than the M4Y but then again I'm pretty sure if we go back up to the stats that it has a smaller gun yeah instead of 360 it has 320 alpha and uh, less pen so there is that but the armor does look significantly better at least on the turret. I hate the M4Y <laughs> so much. Uh, I do like the look of this M3Y though. It's just a. Uh, I like the way this tank looks. Like this looks really cool. Uh, the M6Y, I gotta say, I'm not exactly thrilled about the look of this tank. It just looks weird. And uh, the stats didn't look like all that special, but uh, then again, it does go to what will probably become if the roof of the turret is not 100% weak like a lot of heavy tanks in America have. Uh, it does look like it will be quite good. You get a small weak point on top of the tank. It looks like it's going to be a concept 1B at tier 10 with a weirder, weirder style of turret. Um, I don't know that I like the look of this tank, to be entirely honest. Um, so, there's that. But, what are you going to do? You can't really find a lot of things to do 
for American Heavy Tanks. Uh, in this article, they show you some tips and stuff and some gameplay or aspects of the tanks, like the reserve track right here. You get knocked. You get your main track knocked off. You're gonna lose some mobility, but you don't lose all of your mobility unless you shoot both tracks. So it looks like it's gonna be weird, interesting, somewhat fun to have something that might be able to rival a chieftain free to play. Um, it won't kill the chieftain meta whatsoever but at least it'll be something that you can take instead of a super conk in order to potentially knock a chieftain off um looks like they're going to be versatile heavy tanks to me at least um i guess they could also be breakout heavies they're technically fast enough um but it just feels like a versatile heavy to me, which means you're going to get uh, so so. Um, field mods for them. Um, but it'd get the same field mods as Chieftain. So, I don't know. Kind of seems like it's just trying to be a, a knockoff Chieftain in an American form. And you know how us Americans are really weird, so. Uh, can't say that I'm overly excited about this line. I am excited about the tier 8. I think the tier 8, tier eight actually looks rather decent. Uh, obviously, the pin on all of the tanks is quite bad, except the tier 10. Tier 10 didn't look terrible on the pin-wise. Uh, it's got the same pin as a Kron. So, I mean, it's it's not terrible. Like, it's not good. It's not It's not awful. At least the standard rounds aren't. Um, I still think I'm going to really enjoy this tank, and I'm not going to enjoy the rest of the line that much. This just looks like my type of uh, heavy tank, honestly. Looks a lot, to me, like a Progetto 66 with 10 degrees of gun depression instead of 9, I believe, the Progetto 66 has. So... Uh, and it's down a tier, which also helps. But we'll have to see whenever they go into the game. Obviously, they should most likely, since I would guess since they released the Clan Wars um, post yesterday, and they released the Yo Tanks post today, that the Yo Tanks will come in after the Clan Wars campaign. Um, Obviously, you're going to go from the C1 Heavy. It's the only Tier 5 Heavy <laughs> in the American tree. Um, and, uh, yeah. The M2 and the M4, or the M3Y look like probably two of the best tier for tier tanks in the line. I really do like the look of this tank, though. I mean, it just, it just looks like a heavy tank to me. So, I'll probably play the shit out of this tank. But I don't know about the rest of them. But that'll be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.